Authorities in Angola are rushing to halt one of Africa's most feared killers. Yellow fever has claimed almost 160 lives in recent months, mostly in the capital, Luanda. It's the country's worst outbreak since 30 years, and experts fear it's going to spread. CCTV's Maria Galang is in Luanda and filed this exclusive report. Since the first case of yellow fever was confirmed in Luanda, this has become everyday life in the capital. A long wait for a life-saving injection. Yellow fever has killed over 150 people in Angola's capital, Luanda. And the government has embarked on an aggressive vaccination campaign. Every day, thousands of people line up outside pop-up centers like this, waiting for their vaccinations. The target is more than 80% of the entire population in Luanda province, almost 7 million people. And there's little time to waste. I'm afraid of the virus. I had come here to make sure that I don't get sick. I've seen people become very sick from yellow fever. This is just one vaccination center set up by the military. It sees around 5,500 people a day, with priority given to the most vulnerable. We have been working with the media to ensure that we get as many people in as possible. We do have many people coming, but many are afraid. They suspect that if they get the immunization, they will get yellow fever. Just like malaria, the virus is carried out by a mosquito, the Aedes aegypti the same culprit responsible for the Zika virus. The symptoms of yellow fever and those of malaria are very similar. So many times people get misdiagnosed. The flourished in Luanda in recent months. The low oil prices cut Luanda's public spending, so rubbish has piled up in the streets. And that's a perfect breeding ground. The outbreak has prompted the biggest vaccination drive in Angola's history. Officials are hoping it will be enough to head off catastrophe. But they fear the confirmed cases of dead and sick are merely a fraction of the true number of casualties. Maria Galang, CCTV, Luanda, Angola. Well, let's bring you more now on this yellow fever outbreak. I'm joined live uh, in Luanda by CCTV's Maria Galang. Of course, they're standing by for us from Luanda. Maria, just tell us the extent of this current outbreak in terms of the numbers um, and exactly what health authorities are saying about it. Hi, Lindy. Well, according to WHO, the official figures stand at 166 people dead, 1,073 suspected cases of which uh, 344 have been confirmed as positive. Now, I spoke to a WHO official earlier, and he said that their priority is to get the entire population of Luanda vaccinated to end this outbreak. That's 6.7 million people. Now, there were concerns that there are not enough vaccines to reach this goal, but WHO had a stockpile of just over 6 million vaccines. They've given that entire stockpile to Angola, and so they're given a lot of much-needed support to the government of Angola, Lindy. Well, as you say, the priority now, uh, Maria, is vaccination. But uh, considering that we've already had two infected people arrive in Kenya from Angola, um, what other measures are being taken to ensure that this does not spread beyond the borders of Angola? Well, Lindy, there hasn't been any recommendations for travel restrictions to Angola by the WHO or the CDC. But what they are telling people is that if you have to come to Angola, you must be vaccinated. There are health officials at various entry points to the country, including airports, making sure that everyone coming into the country has their vaccination card. Now, in the case of Kenya, the man who contracted uh, the virus and ended up dying, health officials here say that if the man had indeed been vaccinated, he would not have contracted uh, yellow fever. Now, the reason that the, we understand that the reason that the virus spread so fast in the first place is that the initial group of people who got sick uh, were a group of Ethiopian nationals here uh, in the Vienna district of Luanda, and they came into the country with a, um, 
forged uh, yellow fever certificates. So when officials were trying to do tests to find out why these people were sick, they had ruled out yellow fever. Uh, and eventually when test results came back from South Africa confirming that they were sick with yellow fever, it was uh, discovered that they had forged the yellow fever certificates. And so the bottom line here that health, health officials are, are are trying to to put out is that if you are to come to Angola you are responsible for your own health make sure that if you do not want to contract yellow fever you get vaccinated Lindy right. thanks very much Maria Galang live for us there in Luanda Angola